Hey, what's up, Phoenix fam? Phoenix here. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Grand Theft Auto V Letali GTO, or the Grotti, but the Letali GTO. It is a kind of an older car in Grand Theft Auto V. And we're going to be doing a speed test review and my personal favorite modifications to the vehicle. I don't have my favorite modifications on it. But they're just some of my favorites. Okay, so we're going to do a speed check. As you can see, the speed on the front. The maximum speed. Well, the, I'll just show you the maximum speed. The maximum speed is 127 miles per hour. And this is how fast it breaks at max speed. So pr 0 to 60. Done. 60 miles an hour in about 1.3 seconds. I'll just do some drive around, some other videos to comment what car you guys want to see next or what game you'd like to see me play next. I'm thinking about doing some video game reviews, maybe like some playthroughs. Also, starting a new Minecraft channel, excuse me, starting a new Minecraft series this weekend where it's a one life only. We're calling it Dollar Store Hardcore Episode 1. That's what it's going to be called, or is it? You never know. Don't want to spoil too much. So we'll just show you this car just driving around. I would say it's a pretty good car. It's faster than the T20, but not as fast as the Elite 8. I think that's the name of it. This is how fast it can loop around the entire airport. We're going to start here, and 3, 2, 1, go. This is an entire loop around. the general speed of this thing it has pretty decent acceleration and it's not my favorite vehicle in the game but it is pretty sweet I wouldn't recommend this for drag racing as it's well it doesn't have the best acceleration in the game but it is it does have pretty good acceleration do you guys want to see a drag racing car or a drift car in the next episode I'm gonna be deciding that next episode and the price of this vehicle, if I'm not mistaken, is 1.9 million. I'll show you what it looks like. It comes from Legendary Motorsports on your iFruit phone. As a matter of fact, we'll pull it up right now. If you just head over to Legendary Motorsport, sort by price twice, because that's how normal people do it in this game. As you can see, the price... the this is the vehicle. It's $1.965 million. This is the statistics of it. This is the general general look of the car. This is all the specifications. If anybody needs to take a screenshot, now would be your chance. Okay, that is the car. It has pretty cool reverse lights. It is a four-wheel drive car, as I will demonstrate. Hopefully, this doesn't do too much damage to the front of the car. <laughs> Go slowly. It's a four-wheel drive car, meaning it could pretty much could technically off-road. I wouldn't recommend it for off-roading. This car can be lowered, but I don't like doing that because it's not right. Didn't hit that. You saw nothing. And we'll head over to the Los Santos Customs so you can see everything I have on this car. And maybe we'll change a couple things. Just just a couple. Comment down below. Um, question of the day. It's a very basic one. What videos do you guys want to see next? What game should I play? What game should I make a video on next? If I have it, I'll pick it. Let's see. Armor, uh, of course, 100% should be everything. Brakes, everything should be at maximum. And then bumpers for my front bumper. I have on the carbon cardens and flares, which looks just pretty cool. Rear bumper. Primary lift diffuser. 
personal favorite one. Then exhaust pipes. I have the circles exhaust. This is just a bit much, I'm not going to lie. But you know what? Mm, we're going to go with this one. Quad circle bore. Explosives? People don't do that. It's not right. Hood? Nothing. Hood itself. This actually looks pretty good. None of these actually do anything. It's purely cosmetic. I have the I have the stock hood on it, but it wouldn't hurt to change it up a little bit. We're gonna go with that one. The horn, I mean, wrong. This is my classic horn, Liberty City. Lights, headlights, Xenon, obviously. And neon kit, neon layout, front, back, and sides. And we have it as green. Livery is the modern art. It's an interesting one. It's the only one without advertisements. Mirrors, the square ones. The plate is blue, is black, is yellow on blue, actually, because the car is themed around blue. Okay, so that's pretty much the customizations. Oh wait, I forgot to show the spoiler. I'm back! Rather fast, if I do say so myself, but you know. Spoiler. We unlocked a new spoiler. Race wing? Okay. I mean, I'm just kind of like, in general, I'm just kind of liking the race wing. Yeah, we're gonna put the race wing on. It looks pretty good if you ask me. Suspension, I would put race suspension if I were you. Transmission, max, turbo, I don't have turbo. Wheels, my wheel type is this is the normal kind, but we're going to do street. As a matter of fact, you know what we're going to do? We're going to put on my classic wheels, chrome rims. the dollar ones Beautiful. and Beautiful. we may or make not make them blue make them mm, royal blue I really like the fluorescent blue I wish I could make it the color of the car but it's not a thing this is the ride I mean, it is pretty clean, I'm not gonna lie. Well, if you did enjoy, as a matter of fact, we're gonna do something. Hold on, one sec. Remote functions, you know what? Engine on. Neon lights on. Headlights on. If you got, does this work? You know what? It does. If you guys enjoyed, please consider subscribing and drop a like. I'll see you guys in the next one. Remember, comment down what below what you'd like to see next, whether it be a game or next car review. Later. Also, stream later today, perhaps. You never know.